Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. And also welcome to a Peachy Keen Fall Slash Halloween Blog Hop. I'm so excited that um, the Peachy Headquarters have asked the alumni team as well as the the um, the recent right now design team. We all got together for this super cute blog hop. So you are guaranteed every single stop you're going to see something amazing. Be so excited. So anyways, I wanted to go ahead and tell you that I, for my super, I'm making a super cute quick project for you. I am featuring the September stamp of the month. And let me tell you, if you're not a member of the stamp of the month club, it is amazing. Kathy, she totally outdoes herself every single month. I'm telling you, every, and you will get a fantastic stamp. Look at how, look at how huge this is. Okay, you'll get tons of stamps. You know, you just get tons of stamps all in one little package, and I love it. Okay, so anyways, what I am, I was dying to ink up this little little bat there. So I'm going to use the bat along with this uh, cutie patootie face right there as well as that little eek right there, that little stamp. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I have done here. What I'm using to go ahead and um, to kind of go along with this, I'm using, I don't have the packaging for it, but anyways, I'm not using the sentiments. This is my um, card sentiments with the 3x3 three three trifold card the three by three trifold card die. And this is the die I use right here. But instead of using it as a card today, I'm using it as a little treat holder. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with the little match matchbook um, things, but anyways, I think these are cuter. So cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little treat in here. So which, you know what I'm thinking? No, I won't do that just yet. Now you're gonna, so you're gonna say, why are just the little legs right there? Well, the reason why I did that, just a, a quick little tip for you. What I did was I had, let me use, let me show you the inks I used really quick. I used um, Dusty Concord and Seedless Preserves. These are the two inks I did. What I did was I just basically opened it up and like smushed it onto my mat right here. And then I used my little um, watercolor, it's a little water brush here that I had gotten from Custom Crops. And I just went ahead and I um, used those two colors to color in my cutie patootie little bat here. Isn't that cute? And then I just kind of just sprayed a little bit of um, little, it's it's the pearl mist um, little spritzer I used on top. It's not as good as Miss Nikki's, but I, I'm, I'm going to try and practice because I had a lot of fun using um, the little inks and everything. So anyways... As I was cutting this out, I do not, I totally dislike cutting out little skinny little legs. Well, as you can see, I'm going to show you right here. Don't get me wrong, the legs are adorable. See the little legs? But it's so hard for me to cut them out. So, just a little tip for you. What I did, let me zoom in here for you so you can see it better. What I did was I, after I finished um, making my little bat here, I just kind of put it down like so and I just grabbed my pencil and then I just traced the bottom part only, okay? And then what I did was I just inked up my stamp, but I only inked it up at the edge, only inked up the little legs. Does that make sense? So what I did is I opened up my stamp pad and only inked up the legs only. And then I went ahead and I stamped on that, okay? So now when I put this down right here, it'll be perfect, you see? What we're going to do is we're going to pop them up, but before we pop them up, I want to go ahead and stamp the little eek on there right now. So we're going to stamp that portion here. And um, we're going to stamp that, oopsie, hold on, make sure I put it straight. We're going to stamp that part right here, okay? There we go. Eek! And it's okay if it's a little crooked. Actually, I kind of meant for, to do that because I think it looks really cute. Okay, so now that we got that stamped on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some little pop dots to put my little bat on there. But I'm thinking, you know what, before I even do that, let's get our treat in here. I am going to be putting in one of my, one of my favorite 
This is a Ghirardelli Square Pumpkin Spice Caramel. How yummy does that sound? I'm going to put that there, and I'm just going to grab my little, um, you know what? I think I'm going to put, I'm just going to put it down with a little pop dot. Why not? Well, no. Um, let me get a little um, something else to put it down with really quick. I'm just going to go ahead and just use these little little dots right here. Of course, I don't have the box for it, so I don't know what it's called. And I'm just going to use my little stylus here to get it off here. I'm going, I think I'm going to put two of them behind here. Let's put one there. And then I just don't have my little, little glue glider, my gun. I don't have anything in front of me at the moment because I'm working on two different tables today. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm just going to put this, I'm going to try and center it the best I can like so. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I have this pack of little, all right. Oh my goodness, I'm so unorganized. Oh, here we go. This is this is from Soology, and it's just called the little hook and loop. And they're Velcros. Okay, usually I get them adhesive. I thought these were adhesive, but unfortunately they're not. So I'm going. So what I did is I took two. You know, I got the top and the bottom, and I just put it like so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out and just put it on here first. Okay, I'm just going to use my glue gun for that really fast here. Okay, I'm going to get this right up here at the top first. Okay. Just like so. And I'm pretty sure with the glue gun that'll stay pretty darn good, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put glue gun on this side as well. Okay, so now that I got the glue gun there, I'm just going to go ahead and simply close it down like it should go. Okay. And I'm just going to hold it down just for a second because, you know, hot glue gun. So I love hot glue gun because it actually stays super duper quick, okay? And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some little pop dots on my cutie patootie little batty poo. <laughs> I'm going to put him down. Let me grab some more. Okay, so now, now this is where I'm just going to line this up like so. Just like that, Okay. You see how you can't even really tell that I didn't cut out the little, um, the little feetsies and the legs. Isn't that cute? A super simple treat that you could just totally um, mass produce in no time. Okay, isn't that cute? And you could write a little message in there, a little to and from if you like. Um, it's up to you. But how cute would these be for your child's classroom? And how quick was that? Just die cut out the little. Trifold card die, color up, or you could even, if you don't feel like coloring or whatever, those cutie patootie little bat, just go ahead and um, stamp them on purple cardstock. That'll be so much easier. Or you could just stamp it directly onto your paper. It's totally up to you. But a super easy, quick project. Okay, everybody? So anyways, I hope you enjoyed my quick project for you today. Now, definitely visit my blog because you know I couldn't just make one project, right? So I have some more cute cute projects on my blog using that same stamp set. It is the, um, it's the September um, Peachy Keen stamp of the month. And also, don't forget to leave comments because we have lots of peachy goodness for you. Um, we are giving away $150 worth of gift certificates. Basically, it would consist of one $50 gift certificate and four, um, $25 gift certificate. So basically a total of five winners will be chosen. All you have to do is just go ahead and leave comments on everyone's blog. So definitely start leaving your comments over at the Peachy Keen blog and you will see all the links um, on my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com. Go ahead and you will see the links in order to win those fantastic gift certificates. To, for some amazing stamps. So thank you so much everybody for tuning in and don't forget to hop along. It's a fantastic hop that you don't want to miss. Have a great day everybody. See you back here soon. Bye bye.